Pisces, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 6th to the 12th of September 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches. <laughs> Got it. Ah, uh, welcome. <laughs> right. So you get number 34, Hummingbird Spirit, be here now. Love that. Be here in the present. They can't hover backwards, can't hover too far forward um, in one go, and just be here now, be in the present there. Love that. Nope. Moontology. Nope. <laughs> I did this with um, one of the ones yesterday with Moontology as well. It's like, I think we had about 20 goes to get a card out. Pisces, one card, please. That one. No! <laughs> Got it. You get the Cardinal Moon. Be bold and make the first move. Wow be here now and be bold and make the first move at the same time all right so Pisces let's get into this Pisces, overall, getting things back into balance. Things may have been a bit of a juggle lately and been pulled in different directions, but now getting the um, sense of control back here, that balance back into place, brilliant. Let's move these up for when I do the clarifications. Um, so past energies, justice, the star, page of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's wishes and dreams and hopes may have paid off big time with that justice there. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra here. Somebody now wanting to work with you, make an offer of um, commitment of some here, some sort here, whether it's a job offer um, there, but wanting to work with you to make a successful go of things. Present energies, Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords. Different approach towards something or someone. Maybe it's this someone back here with this offer right there. Okay, but uh, more direct, more up front, more out there, getting everything out in the open. Everyone on the same page. Okay, finding other ways around things when things are trying to pull you in these different directions that you have. Um, overall right in the core of your reading though is self-healing looking after number one taking care of yourself there but um, there may be some obstacles that are being presented in front of you that need some detours put in place even though if you take this blindfold off those obstacles are actually behind you there future energies you've got the four of pentacles page of swords ace of cups there's something or someone that you're not wanting to release just yet you've earned something here and it's like this is mine okay but there is new love here you may be up for the challenge of that and um, as we said overall for the week you're getting into getting things back into balance again and um, being here now be bold and make the first move it may be you offering this new love to somebody else and um, new love chapter could be an existing relationship maybe somebody brand new maybe a job you love home you love but um moontology it may be you that needs to make the first move all right so let's see what we've got here for Clarifications. All right, starting with Two of Pentacles. Get the Knight of Wands, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Look at all that powerful energies, those court cards. 
brilliant holding your vision of where you want to go taking that different approach and being proud of how far you've come emotionally so you may have been through the ringer a bit previously um, you've come through it all and um, a lot of loving nurturing energy around you but you are you know you've come a long way there getting things back into balance beautiful justice in the past energies got the knight of swords the magician ace of pentacles yeah creating a way to get this beginning happening making a successful go of things now that that justice has come through back there and um, it's talking about not rushing into the next project here just taking your time thinking it through creating correctly and or manifesting correctly and going for that brand new beginning to make it successful there the star you get the four of wands ten of cups eight of cups yeah couple um, ability <laughs> stability and commitment <laughs> that was one of those two worded things <laughs> but um, yeah stability and commitment here maybe as a marriage proposal maybe a step up in commitment from a relationship it may be a permanent job offer it may be a buying a house you know if this was somebody offering a job back here there's that job offer there Okay, there's a lot of love come flooding in, but first there's some sort of emotional attachment that's able to be left behind in order to have that feeling of that stability there and that um, love that's all flooding in there with the Ten of Cups. And this Page of Pentacles, you've got the Hierophant, Ten of Wands, Six of Cups. Yeah, all that success and um, somebody might be wanting to come back into your life here as a reconciliation, seeing the success that you've got. But I think you're not having a bar of it because you're going to stand up for yourself here with that hierophant. Could be dealing with the Taurus and bring an end to the burden of feeling like you're on this journey on your own. You've been through that process back there in the past and um, now following your own heart. So yeah, if that was the case back there. So present energies, hummingbird spirit, be here now, queen of swords, five of wands, knight of cups, nine of pentacles. Yeah, bit of conflict and bit of drama happening, so that's why needing to clear that air and get everyone on the same page, even if it's brutally honest and out there, um, being up front. But maybe that's that different approach um, than what you would usually take. There is love here on offer. As I said, you might be offering love to someone. They may be offering it to you. And um, you may be wanting to offer it to someone. Be bold and make the first move. And um, But see that success coming in. It's at your fingertips there. Love that. Bringing an end to that drama, maybe. Four of Swords, you've got the Empress, Eight of Swords, which we have next, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, very aware that um, detours may be needed to take this fresh new approach towards somebody or uh, something or someone. But um, being able to clear the past out that's not needed and go for this fresh new beginning. Making a fresh new go of that, brand new chapter of that, but having everyone on the same page up front. You've got this Eight of Swords with the Two of Swords, Queen of Wands, the Tower. You might not be able to see those detours. Um, Two of Swords, feeling like you're at a crossroads, blindfolded. Take that blindfold off so you can see these detours, see these paths and where they may lead you. Because you have confidence, there's the determination there to see this journey and um, through and go for what you want always say legally and morally but um, still that towers there things have built to a point in some sort of area that need releasing and letting that past go there and going with this brand new solid foundation love that future energies four of pentacles ten of pentacles eight of pentacles princess of swords putting a lot of hard work in that you don't want to miss opportunities that are around you because this there's this energy still clarifying that four of pentacles hanging on to something or someone not wanting to release that energy there maybe that ten of pentacles is there as success and being able to let that go and bring on this next challenge because you're ready for it but um, again not wanting to miss those opportunities you're paying attention, very hard working, very focused and dedicated here, but um, not wanting to miss opportunities that are still being presented around you. 
Page of Swords. You've got the Seven of Cups, Three of Swords, Eight of Wands. You may have been somebody's option here. May have been a third party situation, whether that was around work or around home or around love. But um, yeah, keep the communication open. It may also be saying you've had that third party situation, you've had that broken heart. Now there's other options available to you. Don't be overwhelmed by them. Look at each one carefully. Choose what's right for you and um, make sure that everything's out in the open. Maybe some decisions that need to be made quickly, but still check those options out um, to be sure there. And you finish with this Ace of Cups, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers, and the Two of Wands. Well, wow. if this is brand new love, love, yeah. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Soulmate, Twin Flame, somebody significant. There's a brand new beginning here. Good luck, good fortune, hopefully that's for everyone. And maybe planning your future together there with that Two of Wands. Where do the two of you want to be heading towards? Wow, love that. So let's see what the universe has to say. Wow, the world, five of cups, nine of pentacles. Yeah, this emotional loss and grief, it's happened for a reason in the past. You don't know what that reason is. Things have happened back here. Um, even now you may be waiting, you know, saying, well, why was it like that? Maybe months, years that you realize, oh, now it was like that. But that world pushing you forward, um, that divine energy, beautiful, right into this nine of pentacles where that success is there, ready for the taking. I always say, take it with both hands and run with it. So love that, Pisces. Let's see what Open to Spirit Oracle has. that bottom one because it did jump up there today just choose love tomorrow repeat brilliant hummingbird spirit be here now today and there's all this love down here boom so pisces that's what i have for you do hope it helped thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time see ya bye